To start things off, I added a picture of a bear and behind that I placed a scenic background. Make sure you have your two layers in this order. The first thing we're going to do is select our bear layer and change its blending mode to screen. I suggest turning down the opacity of your background layer depending on how much detail you want to see in your animal or whatever object you may be using. Next, I'm going to click on the Add Layer Mask button to add a new mask to my background so that we can paint over the bear's head and feet to see them a little better. Select the Paint tool and make sure you have the background layer selected along with the black color. Now, just paint over whichever part of your animal or object you'd like to see more of. Alright, now that we're finished with that, let's add a gradient effect. Click on the New Adjustment Layer button and select Gradient. Select the blue and orange one and hit OK. Make sure your gradient layer is your uppermost layer before continuing. Now, change the blending mode to overlay and adjust the opacity to your liking. And there you have it. You have a simple and nice looking double exposure in Photoshop CC.